Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to give you guys an update on the Western Digital Hack. So we have some new information as to what exactly happened and why. Um, so for some of you that may have checked out my previous video regarding the Western Digital Hack, uh, this is a follow-up. Um, basically, it just looks like these hackers are after money. Go figure, right? Um, but to be honest, we didn't really know if it was some inside job where they were just trying to manipulate the company and destroy the company um, looks like it's it's just about getting paid but it, what's uh, really interesting is like how much control they actually have and how much damage they could really do so of course i'll share the link with you in the description below also uh, if you'd like to check out our twitter page you can find a link for that in, this, in the description and also our spotify podcast you can check out a link for that in the description as well if you'd like to listen to our pack podcasts on the go. All right, so I'm going to jump right into it. The article was actually released today, which is why I want to get this out to you. Um, for, the, for those of you that have been anticipating or looking for an update and have maybe been left in the dark or are just finding out about the breach, um, well, here you go. So as we know, there was a data be a breach on March 26th. A lot of... Uh, websites and programs were taken down. A lot of uh, information was captured. Um, so we know that you know the company, the uh, hackers gained access to a number of the company systems. They were able to get a bunch of information, including information of employees. And so this is this is just a big mess. Um, and now we have like an update as to what they did and what services were truly affected. So I'll just go over a little bit and then I'll let you guys read the article. So it looks like some of the uh, programs that were affected was MyCloud, MyCloud Home, MyCloud Home Duo, MyCloud OS 5, SanDisk IBI, or IB, EB, if that's how it's pronounced, SanDisk uh, Expand Wireless Charger, so what's really interesting is that um, looks like TechCrunch had a conversation with one of the hackers and basically they said that they, they had access to a file that could digitally sign all of Western Digital's coding certificates. So they basically had control over all of it. Okay, this is insane. So, um, I don't know where this is going to go. I'd like to see what happens. But um, it, it, this is crazy. So, I mean, they're saying that despite the fact that they, they could, you know, they could totally destroy all of their files with ransomware. They said that they just, their biggest goal is to get paid on this. Um but it's it's insane. I don't know how how this happens. A, a company like Western Digital should really be on their toes. I, I mean, I know they're only human and things happen and there's a lot of talented people out there with great skills that are using it for, you know, negative purposes. Um, of course, they just want to make an easy buck. So it happens, right? Um, it's a short article. I will share it with you guys. But basically, um, there's a couple of screenshots of what some of the customers were experiencing, you know, the error messages that they were getting. Of course, a lot of people were left in the dark because they didn't understand what was happening. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's crazy. But um, like I like I said before, we're seeing a lot of this. This is going around and around and around. And I think that at the end of the day big tech companies like this really need to tighten a rope and they need to come together, maybe come together. You know, these big companies need to work together and say, listen, we're, we're big companies. We need to figure out a way to like, you know, get around this. We're, we're targets, we're being targeted. And I really think they need to make that a priority because customers information, employee information, it's all very, you know, sacred. It needs to be protected, you know? So, Again, they're demanding no less than eight figures, so we'll see what happens here. Um, looks like they have the responsibility of 
stealing approximately 10 terabytes of data from the company system. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go over too much. It's a short article. I'll leave it for you in the link. You can read more about it. You know, put it to your own input, how you feel about it. You know, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think about this whole thing. Do you, you know, do you really think that maybe these companies to work together to maybe try to figure out a way to prevent this? Because this is an ongoing thing. It's happening to a lot of big companies, whether it's in the computer world, the mobile world, you know, software world. It's 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 happening a lot. And it's strange. You know, I mean, I guess if you're really good at what you do, you know, you can break the algorithm and, you know, what does that say, right? What does that say about these companies that if if they're sharing similar algorithms that are easy to crack, you know, that's not good, right? So, anyway, I'll leave the link for you guys. Uh, as always, I want to thank you guys for listening in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Laters.